Hey guys and welcome back to another one and I hope you are all okay on that side of the screen. Now today to take a look at the Tiger Shark Quick Clean from Award and honestly this was a difficult purchase for me. I did spend um, more than two or three months choosing the model that I would get, especially because I didn't find enough information on the web regarding this kind of device. And if you are wondering if this is a good purchase or not for yourself, hopefully this video will enrich the web with a little bit more information, especially because this is not a cheap device and the reviews that I found online, either people loved it or people hated it. There was no middle ground, so hopefully this will balance and I must say that I'm using it for one month uh, more or less. I did receive it back in November. I still have to, one month and a half to send it back if I don't want to, but I'm going to keep it because it's helping me a lot. And that being said, let's go straight for the video. Starting with the unboxing experience, we will have inside the package the controller unit, which is basically the computer that will uh, tell the vacuum what to do. Uh, it's well constructed and splash proof. It has a rating of IPX4, which is to be expected in this kind of device that will deal with water. Now, it also comes with one of the most important parts, which is the Tiger Shark vacuum uh, with a cable of 18 meters, which I do believe that will be enough, at least for this kind of home pool. If you are looking for something that it's for a public pool, then this is not the level of things. Probably you will need to spend a lot more. And finally, we will also find the manual and quick user guide, which will be useful for the first time that we use it. Now, one of the main reasons that I've chosen this particular model, uh, one of which was the price, because these devices are not cheap, but this was one, uh, in my opinion, that was in terms of price and quality in average. Have in mind that I bought it on sale at a discounted price on Amazon. I will leave the link down below and I'll post the screenshot or something right, right over here. Now, one of the things that I would like to mention is that if I purchase it locally, depending on the shop, I was getting an extra 200 to 400 euros on top of the price that I paid. So I did went with Amazon like I do with many other devices. Now, the other main reason was because of the filter system. For all the machines that I searched online, this was regarding price and of course the functionality. It adds a system that I love, uh, really tight filters which go up to five microns and that's very important to me because it will capture most of the things that we'll see uh, on the water, especially the micro algae. Now, this doesn't mean that we will not have to use our main pump to suck from time to time because filter sand like I do have are more aggressive in terms of retaining dirt, but it will do a great job. Now, moving to the setup, it was very easy. All I needed to do was to remove those stickers and those plastics that come with the device and then place the tiger shark into the water. Now, for the first time that we insert it in the water, we will need to wait a little bit so that the water gets in and it will submerge and then I give it enough cable to work. As you guys can see by some images, you will have the idea of how many meters. I didn't measure it. Then connected that cable to the controller unit, connected the controller to the power, and then that is it. We just need to let it do its thing. Now, there are two modes available. By default, when we turn it on, it will do the quick clean mode, which will be enough if the pool is not that dirty. If we are doing just maintenance, then one hour and a half is what I found to be great for uh, um, a clean pool. But as you could see, my pool was very, very dirty. So I did end up doing several days on the full cycle mode, which I just need to press a button and it will do three hours and a half cleaning everything uh, or almost everything that they find. And before I forget, in terms of power consumption, which is one of our concerns here on the channel, it is consuming roughly 120 watts, which is not bad at all, having in consideration that it will filter 18 cubic meters of water per hour. So in theory, it will filter my whole pool in roughly three hours. My pool, just out of curiosity, is roughly 50 cubic meters. Now moving to my feedback in general, and then at the end, I will give you guys a few time lapses so that you can see the unit working a little bit better. But starting with the not so positive things that I find in this particular unit, one of which is for those of you that are wondering, hey, Robert, can I purchase one of these units and replace 
replace myself from the uh, cleaning pool duties? The answer is no. It will help a lot and we will uh, think of it like an assistant, but it will not replace us in everything. I will still need to scrub uh, some parts of my pool with the brush. I will still need to measure the levels of my pool, the chlorine, the pH and alkalinity and so on and so forth. So I consider this as an assistant because it will do the thing that to me it's the most boring part of keeping a pool clean, which is the vacuuming part. Now, one other thing that I didn't find that great is if you have stairs like I do, the vacuum will not work that great. And as you can see by some images, when it comes to the stairs, sometimes it goes, sometimes it doesn't. And there is the corner near the stairs that the vacuum seems to avoid. So I always have to go there with my brush and push the dirt off so that the vacuum the next day or two days following will capture that. So this is something that is not good as well. The other one comes in line with this one, which is this is not a smart device. It doesn't map your pool. So it just goes random here and there. And it's not smart. It's actually really dumb. And one thing that I would like to suggest, although I'm appreciating the work that it's doing for me, but one thing that I would suggest is once you put it to work, just leave it do its thing and go away. Because if we stay there looking at it, what it's doing, we just look at him and our nerves will go to the top because he will go through an area that already cleaned and it will leave the other area that is still dirty right next to it. So it's a bit frustrating, but with time, with that one hour and a half or three hours and a half, depending on the program, he will get there, just not when we want. So it's a bit frustrating. My advice is to do what I'm doing right now is just put it to work, which is the objective and run away from it. Now, one more thing that I do find not so useful is the wall climbing and the wall scrubbing because we still need to scrub the walls from time to time. And the waterline, although it scrubs, it's not efficient enough. So I do believe that if this vacuum stayed all the time on the bottom would be a lot better. The programs could be shorter and it would do a better job. So in my opinion, honestly, the wall climbing and scrubbing and so on and so forth, just a gimmick, not really a function that works per se. Now moving to the positive things. One thing that I really enjoy is that when it passes, it really cleans. With the exception, guys, of some images that you saw that my pool was really a mess. And with any vacuum, if we move the uh, bottom parts, there were particles moving around. And this is something for those of you that are used to pools. This is something that happens with any device that we use, even the manual one. The filters are great. Most of the particles will stay there. And if you pay attention, sometimes there are small particles moving from the top. But what that means is that the filter was not able to capture them. My experience for this past month was that those particles on the following day were at the bottom again. And when the uh, vacuum passes there again, it will retain more and more. So we will achieve a point that the vacuum will keep keep most of those micro algaes inside. And I would say, and only for sure during the summer, but I will say that probably once a month using the manual vacuum with the sand filter will be more than enough. And then the rest of the time, just the vacuum will be okay. So I'm really happy with the filter system. One of the things is that the filter is really easy to clean. We just need to remove those two filters and then with a hose, with some pressure, of course, just clean those filters. And it's just a great experience. My suggestion is to clean the filters every time we use it and in general is really easy to use and also it saves me a lot of time. Now finally before we go to the time lapses two more notes one of which is that my pool at the moment that I did purchase this vacuum, there were about two months that I didn't touch it. I didn't add chlorine. I didn't put the pump to work. So it was really, really dirty, as you could see. And it's still not ready, but it is a lot better today because the help of this vacuum, not only the vacuum, because it is an assistant, but most of the hours of work right over here there were done by the vacuum and not by me. And we are in the winter, so no, is going, no one is going to swimming right now but it helps a lot to have a clean pool during all the year and I don't have to do a lot of effort on the beginning of the season. Now, one other note that I would like to mention as well is that for those of you that will use it for the first time, the vacuum itself
itself is not very heavy, it has some weight, but when we take it out of the water, it's actually very heavy because it's full of water. Obviously, my suggestion is never grab it by the cable when we take it out of the water, only when it's inside the water. And then uh, just be aware not to pull it uh, really fast because we can hurt ourselves and that's not a good thing. Those are the two notes that I would like to leave here in the conclusion. Overall, I'm happy with it. It's not the smartest thing in the world, but it takes me a lot of time and gives me a lot of freedom while it's cleaning. I can do other more important things. So overall, my opinion is that it is worth it if you have the same opinion than me. Hopefully this video will give you a better idea on how it works. And right now I'm going to shut up and give you guys a few time lapses that I've recorded through the days and you will have a better idea how it works. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. And if you did so, don't forget the usual thumbs up. My name is Roberto George and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one. Again.